In this example, we're going to look at the first order linear differential equation dy dx minus shine x times y equals zero. And first of all, note that this is a first order linear equation. And if we compare this with the standard form of a first order linear equation, which is dy dx plus p of x y equals q of x, we see that in this example, p of x equals minus the hyperbolic sine of x and q of x on the right hand side is 0. We can solve a first order linear differential equation using the integrating factor method. The formula for the integrating factor, the integrating factor if or should we call it r of x is e to the integral of p of x dx so in this case it's e to the integral of minus the shine of x dx. The integral of minus shine equals minus hyperbolic cosine so it's e to the minus cosh x. That's our integrating factor. Once we've got the integrating factor we can write that the derivative of y multiplied by the integrating factor equals the integrating factor times the right hand side which in this case is zero so on the right hand side we still have zero so if the derivative of this quantity in the brackets is zero then the quantity in the brackets must be a constant so we write it as c and then if we multiply both sides by e to the cosh x we'll get the solution y equals c e to the cosh x and that's the general solution of the differential equation. Note that in this particular case we could have also solved the equation by separating the variables. So if we write dy dx is shine x times y and then separate the variables so that we have 1 over y dy dx is shine x then integrating both sides with respect to x we'll get that 1 over y dy is the integral of shine x with respect to x so that the log of y is the integral of shine x which is cosh x plus a constant of integration so that finally y is e to the cosh x plus c which is the same as e to the cosh x e to the c which we can write as a constant e to the cosh x and that's an alternative way of getting the same general solution of the differential equation.